let's look at how we can expose multiple applications from the Kubernetes cluster using the ingress resource. So what the ingress resource, you can manage external access to the services that are running inside of your cluster. Uh, using the resource, you can define the rules and how the services inside the cluster can be accessed. The ingress resource on its own, it's useless. It is pretty much a collection of rules and paths, but it needs something to apply these rules to. That something is an ingress controller. The ingress controller acts as a gateway and routes the traffic based on the ingress resource uh, uh, rules that were defined. Now, an ingress controller is a collection of the following items. It's a Kubernetes deployment that's running one or more pods with containers running a gateway or proxy server, such as Nginx or Ambassador, for example. Secondly, it's a Kubernetes service that exposes the ingress controller pods. And then there's the third portion, which are the supporting resources for the ingress controller. So these are various configuration maps or secrets. Now you might wonder, well, but we used the load balancer type previously, right? Well, the load balancer type is not uh, necessarily part of the ingress controller. The Kubernetes service used for the ingress controller can be of the load balancer type, and this will trigger a load balancer's creation if you're using the cloud managed cluster. And it is a way for the traffic to enter your cluster and subsequently the ingress controller that's gonna route the traffic according to the rules. Now, the idea is that you can deploy the ingress controller expose it on a public IP address, and then use the ingress resource to create the traffic rules. Now here's an example of how an ingress resource would look like. Now with these rules defined, we're routing traffic that comes into example.com slash blog. We're routing all the traffic from that address to a Kubernetes service called my-blog-service on port 5000. Similarly, any traffic that's coming to example.com slash music is gonna go to the Kubernetes service called My Music Service on port 8080. Now the ingress resource will also contain one or more annotations to configure the ingress controller. Now these annotations and various options you can configure will depend on the ingress controller that you're using. So let's say you want to run two websites in our cluster. The first one will be a simple Hello World website, and the second one will be a daily doc picture website that shows a random doc picture. Assuming you have a cluster up and running, let's create the deployments for these two websites.